Good morning, everyone. This video is going to be kind of a quick one because I can't really do it with OBS. However, um, this is something I've wondered for a very long time, and recent events have led me to basically needing to order replacement parts for a new Octominer I bought. In the process of doing that, since the shipping was so expensive, I decided to buy an extra fan control board for my new X12. I noticed when I received the board that it's pretty much exactly as I remember, and what I mean by that is this board is very standard. So it has a 6-pin PCIe power in right there, which powers just the fan controller. It has a USB 2.0 header here. One of those is passed through, and the other one actually controls this SOC here, which runs all of the GPIO for the H, um, sorry, the, the reset and the power switching as well as the LEDs down here. The switches on the front, which is power, reset, and CMOS, those all connect to physical pins here. I do not have the CMOS clear connected, but the power and reset buttons do work. The USB pass-through does work. And most importantly, um, sorry, these are just regular old DuPont pins. I will link these down below. However, the board, you have to go through Octominer support and pay with crypto. You can see right here, I have the USB hooked into the USB and the front panel hooked into the front panel. Everything on the board is labeled. And most importantly, we can see here, B450 motherboard. And at the top, I've got more options. So I've got full on Octofan with working fan control. So I have this fan set to 25 right now. I'll move it to 100. Well, no, no, I will not, that's loud. But what I will show you is the hard reset functionality working. So let me push that through. You'll see this Octofan configuration go green. And more options we see right here. Normally you only have shutdown, shutdown, reboot, and 30 seconds and reboot. But now I have these hard options as well. I don't know if Wake on LAN works without the Octominer motherboard. It might. But if I go ahead and hit hard reset... we will see the motherboard actually get fully hard reset using the front pins. So the NIC just turned off and the fan controller just went to 100% fan speed. So all of that functionality does work, which is really, really cool. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, it shows 12 fans, which is interesting because that means maybe I'll buy some more fan connectors and see if I can get all those in there. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like all of those actually might be electrically active, which would be kind of cool, especially for the bigger rigs. You know, I could power uh, 12 four pin fans off of uh, just this one little board here. I will say that I spent $25 plus a significant amount of shipping and in crypto for this board, but considering the functionality it gains you, even just for hard reset functionality, and the controllable fan controller, I think that's probably worth the price of admission. So I'm not sure if that's a secret or not, but it's worth pointing out that these Octominer control boards do seem to work just fine with any old system.